Hey Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays. Today we're playing a game called The Dream Machine. Now I haven't actually heard about this game before until a very lovely subscriber of mine, Signs of a Badger, actually told me about this. So thank you very much for that because I looked into it and it actually looks pretty damn awesome. From what I can gather, it's set out in six chapters, like DLC from Steam. Today we're going to play chapter one. It should be a point and click type adventure game from what you can see here, all made out of cardboard, clay and apparently broccoli for some bizarre reason. I'm intrigued. It has a very machinarium feel about it, so let's give it a go. Boop. Okay, uh, chapter one. We are like the dreamer. Okay. We are like the spider. We weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer who dreams and then lives in the dream. Very profound. Ha! <laughs> We have done quite a few clay style games lately. I'm kind of enjoying, like, I really like it, really enjoying that. Uh, the Dream Machine, Chapter 1. It's nice to take a break for some scary games every now and again. Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't actually know how long this is going to be. But if there are six chapters, then probably quite a long series. But I might just, like, play this every now and again. We'll see how good it is. Let's go. Or rather, we'll see how good I am at it. <laughs> Okay, right then. Hello, friend. Oh, oh, pick up fishing rod. Okay, so we have an inventory. Awesome. Examine forked branch. It's a forked branch jutting out of the sand. So we are just starting then. That's pretty cool. Wood. Wood. Lighter. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. I love this type of game and I can just relax and play it and just, yeah, not run through it or anything, yeah. The boat has been smashed against the rock. Okay, so we're marooned. Is that how I ended up here? It's strange that I can't remember something like that. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, examine trees. Are those coconuts? Probably. Right, so now can we use things? It's a petroleum fueled lighter. So I can move things. Can I light the... Yes, yeah, so I need wood. Okay, that's fine. So we go wood on the fire. I think. Yep, and then we light it. Very good. Shovel, lighter, and fishing rod. So what can I use the fish? Can I fish? Are we going to get some food? Let's see what happens if I... It's made from flexible... Okay, that's fine. But can I just put it in there? I can. Okay. I've placed the fishing rod on the forked branch. Yes, you have. The fish don't seem too interested in biting, though. Okay. Let's have a mosey around, then. What are we missing? I mean, let's dig, shall we? Uh, it's seen a lot of use. Okay, can I... Wait. Here. Wait, can I just dig holes anywhere? I can! I was going to say, are we getting bait? Oh, that's very cool. That's very cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put the wormy on the thing. It's a small worm. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, the fishing rod is baited with the worm. And I guess now we play the waiting game. Can I dig some more? Oh, no, wait, wait. It's a fish. Really in the fish. Yes! Okay, good. We have a fish. Fish looks tasty. Yes, let's eat the fish. <laughs> okay. So we're just surviving. That's fine. I can't bear to skewer the poor thing while it's still alive. Really? We have to kill it? Oh, that feels so... Oh, you can't. I mean... It seems to have killed the fish. Oh my god, that was freaking horrible. Why do we have to do that? Well, now you can eat it. Fucking hell. The fish isn't ready yet. Okay, well, we don't want to burn it. It looks dead to me. It looks cooked to me. Take it. It's going to burn. It's going to burn. Fish doesn't eat that long. Take it off. There we go. Now eat the fish. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can I not eat the fish? I would like to eat the fish. Eat the fish. Yes, I know it looks ready to eat. Eat the fish. It tastes great, but what's this? There's a piece of paper in the belly of the fish.
Okay, so we're digging back there then. So one, two, three. Okay. We need to figure out the shape of the foot. That's okay. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm no silly fool. These are the two trees then. So. Okay. Well, it's either there or there then, isn't it? Check me out. Look at me go. Is he dreaming? Oh, that's very funny. Oh, that's why the picture's there. Awesome. Oh, I got an achievement. Island life. Nice. Examine box. These boxes are all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them along with the furniture should arrive later today. Oh, so we just moved in. It says baby clothes on the label. This uh, label on the box says Victor's clothes. Are we Victor? These two contain books, mostly. Okay. This must have belonged to the previous inhabitant. Inhabitants already? Okay. It doesn't work. No. Oh. Well, that's what we're dreaming about. The painting seems a lot like my dream. I must have fallen asleep looking at it. It has the kind of tacky charm that Alicia usually hates. Just an old ventilation grate. Yes, yeah, sod having that in the room. That just sounds like a spider breeding ground. These two are filled with, to the brim with crime novels. Alicia loves those. So are we Victor? It contains an assortment of bedspreads. This is the nursery. Uh, these two contain some of Alicia's eBay purchases. Uh, this contains some of Alicia's student literature. Oh look! Oh look what it is! The little, little, little uh, walkie talkies or baby monitors. What's that? It's a telephone. Okay. I don't know what they are, but they're very cute. I want them immediately. Uh, away. Oh hello, Alicia. Oh god, look at your face! I mean, hello honey, good morning. <laughs> oh, you're awake! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Oh, oh! Oh, we have choices! And I'm right in the fucking way. Uh, ah, oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Although this is going to be a little bit getting used to, but here we are. So, ah, oh, that's sweet of you. Here, let me help you with that. I could go back to bed if you want me to. About time, I'm starving here. <gasps> oh, let me help you with that. No need, it's almost done. Could you set the table for us in the meantime? Uh, we don't have a kitchen table. The shipment hasn't arrived yet, honey. I just woke up, Alicia, and already you're expecting miracles from me. Oh. It doesn't have to be a table. Anything square and flat will do for now. Just grab an empty box or something. Uh, of course, darling, maybe later there's some other things I'd like to do first. No, I'm too tired. Can't you do that yourself? Oh my fucking god, no. Okay, of course, darling. Thanks, honey. Pick up empty box. Done. Open fridge. Oh, we need to go to the market. Yeah, an empty fridge is a depressing sight. Ah, we'll close the fridge. Don't leave it open. Uh, what have we got? Enter living room. I love this so much because the entire level is just, it exists somewhere like it's been made. It's gorgeous. Clay, cardboard, and apparently broccoli. I don't know why, but I, I will find out. Uh, some wilted plants probably left here by the previous tenant. Oh. Oh, the plot thickens. What have we got here? It seems to be the remains of a letter. Okay, well, somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire couldn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. That should do it. Whoa! I better be careful when I rotate the pieces, they look very delicate. Well, how do you rotate them? Can I rotate them? I don't think I can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. might take me a while. It's a little bit hard to turn them. I 
It's very strange, it doesn't tell you what to do, you just kind of have to guess, but you grab the corners. Okay. So, to whom it may concern, I'm hiding this note in the hope that you won't find something. What's it say? Going on in something, I was it know what, I'm not paranoid, look under the floorboard below the light switch in the bedroom and you'll see what I mean. Whatever that thing is, isn't mine and I'm not staying around to find out what it does. Perhaps you'll be able to figure it out, Travis, the previous tenant. Oh, under the light switch in the bedroom, okay. Uh, some outgrown baby clothes donated by thoughtful relatives. So we need to go to the bedroom then, don't we? Let's go back. Mm, let's go to the bathroom first. Ooh, baby will. We're just collecting everything. Skin lotion. It's Alicia skin lotion. It, well, I should probably start using this stuff more often. Conditioner, shampoo, a nurturing blend of echinacea and sage. Fancy. Uh, the preferred brand of the Neff household. Okay. Anything new? Sound mirror. Oh god, I've seen better days than I. Can I can I do anything? Hello, handsome. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beauty is subjective, let's go. Uh plush toilet. Strangely. Lift lid. Oh yeah, that's weird. Examine towel hanger. Only one hanger. Presumably the previous tenant was single. I mean, leaving notes around like that, probably. Boop. We haven't installed the lighting fixtures yet. Well, that's just silly. Uh, okie smokey. Under the light switch. The board is now to the floor. I can't get out with my bare hands. Uh, baby oil? <laughs> Can I use that on the floorboard to make it loose? Apparently not. It'll only make things harder. Okay, well at least we can try. That was nice. So I need a crowbar then, really, don't I? My old axe. A reminder of my dreams of becoming a stage musician. Once we settle in, I'll try to get the music career brewing again. Okay, so what have we got here? It looks like there's something behind this box. Look inside, move the... Can we look inside? It contains blankets. Alicia likes to keep warm. Why can we move it? Telephone outlet. Okay. Hold on. Hang on. Burp. Did that do it? It did. Okay. There is mail. Uh, dear Mr. and Mrs. Neff, thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovich Realtor Service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you have any questions regarding our services, or if you have any questions regarding the apartment or maintenance issues, please don't hesitate in directing them to our head office at this number. So we have a number now. We look forward to continuing to serve you. Again, I thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovich. So, 555-497680. Assuming we can use the phone. Oh, we don't even need to remember the number then, that's good. Prosser and Ankovich, how may I help you? Hi, um, my name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment arranged by your company. Why, hello Mr Neff, what can I do for you? What kind of services did your company provide? Never mind, I don't know why I called you. Our main service is that of a realtor, but we also go a bit, extend a bit beyond that. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have apartments to rent or sell but if you ever need help with things like renting furniture or negotiating leases we also provide those type of services did that answer your question thanks that's good to know was that all yeah that's all thanks no problem bye bye, bye. what was the point of that hello anyone there another vent boxes away shoe collection christmas decorations Blankets and coat, her favourite coat, okay. So and then we need to try and find a 
crowbar, really, don't we? Or an axe. Like an actual axe, not a guitar. Okie bokey. Let's go. Let's set up the box then and see what happens there. It doesn't work. But you said to put your boxes down. I have the flat surface so we can have foods. Use empty box for another empty box? No. Okay. So what am I missing? For some reason we have the envelope. Mr. and Mrs. Neff, 12 DuPont Crest, Bramford SK. So we have the letter, which doesn't say anything. Is it coming behind it? Nope, we cannot. Okay. So whatever I'm looking for, it must be... Can I, well, can I try opening the door? Oh god, hang on. Oh! Are you leaving? I'm just going to check if the furniture has arrived. The caretaker said he'd stop by of our spare key this morning. Would you mind staying until he's been here? Can't you let him in yourself? I guess the movies can wait a little longer. He hasn't forgotten us, has he? Why don't I call him and make sure he hasn't? Yeah, you do that. I'll fix that breakfast in the meantime. Okay, so we might have another number now. Wait. that The number isn't on there. Unless it's them again. Neff again. I have another question. Uh, how can I help you this time? I'm trying to reach the caretaker in his building. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? Okay, we know that now. That's good. That probably wouldn't have been there otherwise if we hadn't looked at the envelope. That's the old building behind uh, Esper Square, right? You just sold us the place! I think so. We're new in town, so I don't know where everything is yet. Let's see. I'm not finding any caretaker of that address. You wouldn't happen to know his name, would you? I'm afraid I can't remember. It must have slipped your mind. That can happen sometimes. Right, sorry I bothered you. No problem. Just call me back if you ever if you happen to remember it. Bugger, how am I going to remember that? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oil, letter, empty box. Can I show the letter to Alicia? No, I cannot. I missed something in the bathroom, maybe. Use warm tap water. Do you think there's a message in the mirror or something? I don't know, is it steaming up? Ah, I would have hoped that it would steam up or something. Nope. Nah, okay. Well, that would have been clever, but let's see. I'll turn that off. Take a shower. I'd have to get out of these clothes, but there's plenty of time for that. Oh, God. Ha! <laughs> Right, so what am I not clicking in here then? Because we can leave. Why can I take put the lid up? Can I put the letter in the toilet? To flush or to snort? Oh god, no! Think, 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 think. Are there any cutlery, knives? Oh, draw! It's empty. It's empty. It's also empty. <laughs> There's got to be a knife or something. Really? I can turn on all the taps for some reason. Strange. I shouldn't mess with Alicia while she's trying to cook. Damn straight. <laughs> so all the drawers are empty. I don't know. Oh, bugger. It says kitchen utensils, but the box is empty. Hang on. Nope. With yourself. It's too I'm <laughs> too big for this box. Use empty box with floor. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did it. Have you found something to put the breakfast on? 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, what do you think of this note I found? Do you remember the name of the caretaker? I'd like to contact the caretaker first. Yes, I put an empty box over there in the corner by the windows. I found an empty box over the sink. It's all set up and ready for breakfast. I could only find that filthy box over there by the windows. Sorry, nothing. Never mind. Okay, well, let's start this. Let's start with a note. Hmm, let me see. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true otherwise. Looks like something you'd read in a crime novel, which he does love. Uh, he probably left us a present under the floorboards and wanted to rile us up a bit before we found it. Doesn't the fact that somebody tried to destroy the note land it some credence? Nah, he probably did that himself to make it seem more mysterious. He seems to have made sure we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards in the bedroom. You do that, honey. With what?! Uh, so, okay, so... Do you remember the name of the caretaker? I don't recall exactly. Norton, Horton, Morton? Something like that. Helpful. Okay. Uh, I'd like to take the call the caretaker first. But I don't know his name. How is that going for you? But what's the name of the caretaker? I can't recall exactly. Okay, fine. Maybe that'll be enough. Uh, let's put the breakfast down. There we go. That's great. Let's eat. Just sit down and I'll bring us the breakfast. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Isn't this magical? Yes. The first back to the new apartment. Honestly, I've done that four times. Wait. Four times, I think, now? Yeah, in my life, where you move into somewhere new and you have the first drink or the first meal of anything. And it's honestly the most amazing feeling each time. It really is pretty freaking magical. I don't think this place deserves a tip. If could use some candles at the very least. I'm skeptical about the cardboard table though. Okay. If I knew what box they were in, I'd go get them. But how was it? How was what, dear? Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? Like a baby, I even slept with my clothes on. I tossed and turned a lot, but I feel pretty rested now. I dreamt a lot, so I can't have been sleeping all that deeply. Oh, what did you dream? I dreamt I was alone on a small island. What did you do? I dug a worm from the ground. I caught a fish. I started a fire. I found a note in the fish. With your bare hands? No, I had a pole. Ah, oh, poor fish. That's almost cheating, isn't it? It was him or me, basically. Then what did you do? I dug a worm from the ground, or I started this in the wrong order, but what did it say? It was a treasure map. Oh, how exciting. Did you find the treasure? I was about to, but then the alarm clock went off and the sound must have fused with my dream. That was the treasure. That's when I woke up. Uh, it's strange how the mind incorporates real things into dreams like that all the bloody time with me. I've read that it does that for us to get our precious rest no matter what. If It only wakes you up if thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that my mind is looking out for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What what means? Your dreams, silly. Well, I was looking at the painting above the bed as I fall asleep. That's it. I think dreaming about a deserted island means I need more solitude. Dreams are just synapses in your brain firing away randomly. I don't know. What do you think it means? The ugly one above the bed? Yeah. I don't think it's that ugly. We have to do something about that. I knew you'd say that. You want to hear what I think your dream means? Sure. Do you want my appeasing answer? Or do you want to know what I really think? I want you to tell me the truth, of course. It sounds pretty much like your standard escapist fare. You're scared of your new situation and you're longing back to a simpler life we had before. The old cushy job, your old slacker friends. You know that's not true. Moving here, trying to raise a family with you is going to be the best thing I've ever done. It still sounds like you're viewing it like some grand adventure. It's just a dream, Alicia. You're taking it too seriously. I'm sorry, Victor. I guess the force of pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. Don't I know it? I was slightly passive-aggressive, but let's move past that. Um, so how was your first night? I slept surprisingly well, actually. You must have been dead tired then. Yeah, usually I can't sleep at all in unfamiliar places. So it's quite a breakfast. How have you been? Uh, well, how long have you been up? Since about nine. I was having a dream, but after a while it turned really weird. That's when I woke up. What happened? Do you remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Of course, I can't remember his name though. Me neither. Except that it ended with Orton. Something like that. He showed up in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. Oh, that's creepy. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. He seemed alright to me. Maybe in real life, but the dream version of him was a real creep. 
What do you do in your dream? Can we talk about this later, Victor? I'm still a bit disturbed by it. That bad, huh? Now I'm curious. He said he'd stop by with the duplicate, but he must have forgotten. I better give him a call then. Sounds like a plan. I'll go wash up. Will you give him a call? Fucking hell. So what? I, I'm, was that definitely a dream? Or did he... Mm. You need any help with that? Stop pampering me, dear. Pampering? She made the meal! Alright. I'll be fine. This whole game's... Got, mm, I don't know. It's got a creepy feel about it, hasn't it? Well, let's see. Now we know his name ends in Orton. It might help us. You'd think they'd know more, wouldn't you? Like, they sold us the place. They can get proper pissy with us, aren't they? Uh, me again. Have another question for you. How can I help you this time? Uh, trying to reach a caretaker. Uh, I think it's Norton. Try Halton. He might have said Morton. <laughs> Norton, is it? Uh, it might have been. I was really tired last night, though. No, I'm drawing a blank with that. Could have been something else. Halton. Uh, it sounded like it, but I wasn't really concentrating. Nope, must have been something else. Oh my god. Morton. Morton, you say? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not your caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must have been the same guy. That's his number. Good. Right. Got it. Is there anything else you need? No, that's fine. Thank you. Good. So now we can phone him. Mr. Morton. Morton here. Hello, this is Victor Neff from the second floor. The couple you let in yesterday. Yes, hello, Mr. Neff. Are you settling in all right? Everything's fine, thanks. But I was just wondering when you'd be able to deliver the spare key you mentioned last night. Oh, sorry, it's, I'd forgotten all about that. Yeah, I figured you have. I'll be right up. Thanks. Open door. Do we play the waiting game? Have you called the caretaker? Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. He said he'd be right up. I'm just going to check if the furniture has arrived. Can't you stay until he gets here? I don't want... Alright, fine. So I guess we're going to stay. How long... How long do you think we should wait until he's here? How do we get into that bloody thing on the floor? Like the floorboard. We need like a... Mm, a knife something. Oh, wait. Hold on. She said she's going to do the washing up. Can we take one of the knives from the sink? Oh, I... Uh, too much going on. Hang on. There's cutlery. Can I not take any of that? Apparently not. Oh, Jesus. Definitely creepy. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Here's the spare key. Thanks. Is that apartment in order? Everything seems fine. Just tell me if you need any help with anything. Was that all? What should I call you? Are you the caretaker or the landlord? If I need you again, where do I find you? Uh, didn't have you listed as the caretaker. I guess that would be confusing. My family's owned this house for generations. I rent out the apartments I don't need, and I try to take care of the estate as best I can, making me both the caretaker and the landlord. I see. That's all for now. Okay. Nice. Alright. Time to see what that furniture movers are up to. Do I have their numbers too? I do not. Do you think I can leave now? Oh, I can! Oh, the new house achievement. Okie dokie. So, oh blimey. I think the box contains fire equipment. The door is locked. So that's our apartment. That's fine. Call the elevator. If I'm just going to someone's apartment, it wouldn't be very polite. Yes, agreed. Well, that's loud. Hello. Oh, I thought that might happen. You're one of the newer tenants, aren't you? That's right, I'm Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved in next door to you. Oh, hello there, young fella. <laughs> I'm Edie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. Uh, I seem to be having some problem with the elevator. The door jams every once in a while. You'd be well advised to keep some sort of grease pro ah, product handy. I have that. I'd lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll probably be able to find something. Um, I am just going to leave you to your business. Call me Eddie. Everyone does. Bye then, Eddie. Goodbye, dear. Because I have what apparently seems to be lift lube. <laughs> lift lube. There you go. Nice. 
Uh, needs a key. Oh, wait, we have a. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. It's not the right key. No. Level one. Oh. So that's how we go and see the caretaker then. Okay. Oh, hello. Talk to Mr. Morton. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Did you require anything else? No, right, no, not right now. I think we're good. I'm over here, Mr. Neff. Just come over to the latch if you want to talk to me. Okay. Staircase seems to have been sealed off. Judging by the warning tape, I'd say it's probably hazardous. Oh, there's our movers. Are you Victor Neff? Yep, that's me. We've got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. So if you just sign the receipt right here, I'll leave it in your hands. But it's blocking the entrance. You can't leave the sofa here. You've got to deliver it to our apartment. I won't sign a receipt unless you deliver it to our apartment. Damn right. If you feel that we've failed to live up to your agreement, you're more than welcome to file a complaint with our customer service, sir. How do I do that? I've got their card right here. We deliver door to door like it says here in the contract. That's not my front door, though. And technically speaking, this over has been delivered to a door. Oh my god, I used to live in an apartment and I had this issue so many times. Everyone used to deliver to the downstairs. Like, that's not our front door! Whatever. Technically speaking, the sofa has been delivered. I don't buy that for a second. And since you can't get out of it, you're just going to leave it. They've wedged it in the door. Well, could you call it stuck? I'd say it's delivered, sir. Whatever. But when did you stop caring about your job, man? Helping people move furniture is my greatest passion, sir. And you're confident with that? I guess I am. Oh, come on, help me out here. I've got a pregnant wife upstairs and I can't free this by myself. Well, I guess I could give you this complimentary crowbar. I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to pry the sofa free in no time, provided that you sign the receipt, of course. Interesting. So I'm going to have to go back then and talk to everyone, just in case there's something else they can give me. Fine, give it here. I'll sign the damn thing. I'm glad you see reason, sir. Here you go. You haven't heard the last of this. Signed and delivered. Personally, I consider this a job well done. How are you going to get out? I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, Willard, Jones, Morton, Morton Estates, Brittle. I think that's ours now. And Feed. So if I use our key then, or crowbar, whoops, on that. And I locked it. Nice. Oh, there's nothing in there. I was really hoping there'd be something in there. Can I use the key on the rest of them? Nope, can I use the crowbar on the rest of them? That'd be funny. Uh, tampering with other people's mail is illegal. <laughs> Why did let us open it? We can use it. That's annoying. You're just going to stand there. Seeing as I can't get out, I think I might take a little break. You're probably the laziest mo mover I've ever encountered. Enjoy your sofa, sir. What a bitch. Uh, looks like I'll ventilate. Okay, right. So that's good. So now we can get under the floorboards at least. Uh, let's just talk to Morton. I'm curious, and it gives us anything else. Hello again. My sofa is stuck in the entrance, can you set it free? Oh, I'm afraid my sciatica problems prohibit me from straining physical labour. Can't the moving firm help you out? No, that's the problem in the first place. They just dumped it there, I see. I wish I could help you move. So your family owns this building? That's right, my great-grandfather built this house back in the mid-19th century. It's gone from generation to generation since then. I'm the last in line. Was there anything else? Oh. Can you tell me anything about the estate? My great-grandfather used most of this for research. He was one of the first to study and try to remedy sleep disorders. The patients would live in wards upstairs while undergoing treatments. But as funding became an issue, he sectioned off more and more of it as apartments. In the end, this office and back room was all that remained. Wow. Can you tell me about the other inhabitants? They keep mostly to themselves. It's a pretty quiet house and that's the way I like it. Apart from you and me, there are three other inhabitants in the estate, and the top floor is Mr. Willard. He doesn't get out much due to his disability. Next to him lives Miss Theed. She works as a night nurse at Abbey Hospital. She's asleep during the day, so I rarely see her. Next to you, we have Mrs. Jones, a widow since a few years back. I'm afraid her age is starting to get the better of her. But on a good day, she's still quite lucid. Oh, nothing else right now. Okay. Let's go pry the thingy out then, shall we? Uh... Actually, no, let's go to the third floor, see Mr. Willard. Oh, that lift loop seems to have done the trick. Okay. Doors locked. Ding dong, Avon. Hey, <laughs> do both of them. Ding dong, Avon. Oh, apparently we're not allowed to go and see them. Oh, okay. 
I don't know how this works necessarily. For all I know, when it comes to chapter two, we might be able to backtrack and go to places we've already been. So, yeah. I think these blank areas we can leave for now. Okay, use the crowbar on the thing. Let's find some treasure. Burp. The crowbar snapped in half. Ah, oh, it's not even metal. Good thing I managed to get the board up before it broke. Oh, hello. Oh, yay, puzzles! Okay, good, right. Um, examine meter. This device measures the current running through it. Examine fuse. It looks like some kind of fuse. The device seems to have been... Wait, what? This device seems to be where the current ends up. I have no idea what it does. Well, I can do this. One of my favourite things to do. Okay, so it starts, what, there. So I want it to go all the way around then, I'm assuming. Okay, right. Okay. So do, 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 do. All of it should connect. Yeah. I think. So I'm assuming all that needs to... Okay, that has to go all the way up then. Fine. So what am I doing wrong here then? Well, that turns it off. So we don't want to... I'm assuming not turn it off then. We, we need it to be on. Fine. Is it meant to block off these? Right, okay. Got it. Oh, one more. Oh! <laughs> that seems to have overloaded the fuse. Really? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what gave you that idea? Oops. It was probably designed to blow before anything else would happen. Okay, well I get why that person was freaked out when they saw this. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. Remove uh, fusion juice now, I'll throw it away. Okay, well... What does it do? Bypass it somehow. How would I bypass it? Do I need a new fuse? I don't need to tamper more with this circuit. But I haven't got another fuse. <laughs> just got like a roll of pennies to just shove it in and burn that. Oh! That's going to burn the fucking house down, but go on. Oh, that's very clever. That seems to have been too much power for the circuit to handle. Yeah. Oh my god. Also, forget I said anything about the penny thing. That's dangerous. <laughs> just one too many TV shows where they've done shit like that. Oh my god. It's completely burnt out. Yeah, no shit. Lucky didn't burn the fucking house down. I wonder what I operated. Oh, that's dodgy as fuck. Oh, that's so fucking dodgy. What was that? I thought I heard some kind of noise. Oh my god, she's just walked in. And for all she knows, we've set up a fucking camera in the bedroom. That's a new level of kinky. You need to discuss it with your partner first. Oh shit. So is that the... the is it with the landlord? Or like the landlord's family that are creepy as shit? I don't know really. I did what the note said and I found a circuit under the floorboard. After I tampered with the circuit, the painting flew up. What's that behind the painting then? Oh god. I'm not sure. It's a fucking camera! Oh, that is so fucking creepy. So what is it? It looks like a surveillance camera. A camera and there's a hole in the picture. Ew! Oh no! You mean somebody was peeping on us while we slept? It certainly seems that way. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. It could be one of the neighbours. Maybe the previous tenant taped his sexual conquests. Isn't that a setup a bit elaborate for that? And why would he leave a note leading us to the camera? It doesn't make sense. Mr. Morton is about to say, yeah, I'm about to say that. He doesn't seem to be like the likely culprit. 
After all, he had free access to the apartment, and if he was Mr. Morton, that means he found the note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. That makes sense. I told you I got a creepy vibe from the guy. It has to be Morton. He's trying to fulfill some kind of perverted fantasy peeping on us. I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should call the police immediately. What do you think? I'll go and talk to him. I'm going to beat the snot out of him. I'll make sure he doesn't get away with this before the police arrive. I'm going to go down to make sure he doesn't destroy any evidence. Ooh, I'm going to go talk to him. If there is, why didn't you tell us when we moved in? Here's the rustic kitchen. Here's the bedroom with the lovely morning sun. Oh, by the way, see that crappy IKEA print on the wall? I've installed a camera behind it. It's nothing to worry about. I just like tossing off while watching other people have sex. Oh my god! Oh, that's so rude! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That's really funny. Oh my god. And now we also know that this is probably an English game. <laughs> I see what you mean. Oh, that's so fucking gross. Oh my god, I'll make sure he doesn't get away before the police arrives. I'm going to go downstairs and make sure he doesn't destroy any evidence. By now he's probably noticed that we've discovered what he's up to. I'll just go down and keep an eye on him until the police get here. That sounds like a good plan. We have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. Oh my god, he just... Oh, that's so gross, he's tossing off. Oh my god. <laughs> Yuck. Oh god, I hope... I Well, it, it should be him. I hope it's him. Otherwise we're just going to go and accuse him of something really fucking dodgy after we've just moved in. Oh, he's getting his jollies off. Ah. So is he going to, like, buggered off then? We can go in his office now or something like that. Oh, he's closed his window. Look. Oh, shit. Door's locked. Uh, peek through the keyhole. I think I see a gramophone on the far side of the room. Okay, can I... Force the door open. I just locate my shoulder doing that. There's got to be another way in. Okay. Listen to the door. Strange music is playing on the other side of this door. So I can't get in. I don't have a key. We haul us customer service. I was going to call the customer service as well. Alright. So what do I do then? And where's he gone unless he's hiding in there? Mike could call the customer service people. Oh, you're having a nice break? Oh, you're having a nice break. Has Mr. Morton passed through here? Who? Mr. Morton, an elderly, shifty-looking fellow. The sofa's still blocking the entrance, sir. Nobody's coming in or out of this place. Wait, I can grab the coat hanger. Permanently stuck. Okay, I guess I'm using that to get in the thingy then. I don't know how to pick locks. A coat hanger wouldn't be the right tool anyway. Oh, come on. It, really? I really would have thought that would do it. Okay, fine. Uh, third floor? But he's got to be hiding somewhere then if he ain't in there. Can I not? Hang on. Use... Fire equipment. Can I use it on that? Don't need to store it. So what do I need the coat hanger for on our apartment? Unless I can use that in the um, as another fuse. Fuse. Did you call the police? I can't believe it. They put me on hold. They'll probably take a while. I'll go down and hold it until the police arrive. You do that, dear. <laughs> no, so I can't get back to that. I've looked all over the apartment. There's nothing else in here. Let's try the neighbour. That wouldn't be very polite. Yep, yeah, ding dong, let's talk to our neighbour again. Oh, I'll be right there, I'll be right with you. Hello again. Hello there, Mr. Neff. Um, discovered a surveillance camera in our bedroom. A camera, you say? It was hidden behind a panel in our room. I don't mean to throw accusations around, but you think Mr. Morton's behind it, don't you? He does seem like the most likely culprit given the circumstances. Agreed. I always knew there was something wrong with him, but this is far more sinister than I can ever imagine. My wife is calling the police right now. They'll probably be here soon, well, hopefully. I just wanted to give you uh, an advance warning in case he's installed cameras in your apartment too. I appreciate that, Victor. I'll start looking as soon as my guests leave. Did you say your name was Victor Neff? 
like the actor. Just like the actor, but he lived before my time, though. But you two must be related, surely. No relation, I'm afraid. Uh, there's a camera in our apartment, no more chit-chat. I've never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boxer, you see. Then I assure you our similarities end with our names. You seem like such a polite young man, unlike the caretaker here, Mr. Morton? What? Yes, that's the one. The one who put a creepy fucking camera in there. Come on. So she hasn't got anything there, then. Let's go back to his office, then. Unless we can use the coat hanger on the lock. Or the window. Let's so use it on the window. Hang on. Jimmy it open. Oh, all that. That works, too. Hey. Uh, key in the door. Nice! End chapter one! Oh, it just ends there! I have to get in and make sure he doesn't tamper the evidence. Yes, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. End chapter one. Hey! Oh, that's awesome! Oh my god! Oh, Mr. Warren, I know you're in here. We found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Chapter two, the man. Oh my god, that's so awesome! The little man who wasn't there. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Right, I'm going to end this video here if that's okay. This is really, really good. I really like this. It's kind of got, maybe because it's kind of has a hotel feeling, but the art style and the way it's played out definitely has a um, Sally face kind of feel, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, this is like a few games mixed together. I think this probably came out first, I think it was 2010, this, the first chapter came out. And I think the chapters have been coming out every year since. So, oh my goodness, this is going to be really good. I'm definitely going to play chapter two really soon. I'm really enjoying this. I'm so glad there was like an actual puzzle element to it because, I mean, point and click games are wonderful, but they need that kind of puzzle bit just to have that tiny bit of like accomplishment, if that makes sense. It's really, really good. So thank you so much, Signs of a Badger, for suggesting that I play this game. It really is awesome so far. And thanks everyone so much for watching. We'll pick this up again in chapter two really soon, I promise. I really want to see how the story progresses. It's definitely creepy. <laughs> But until the next video, awesome possum. Bye fluffies!